Well, it's a real 4th of July picnic. It's what we dream of doing all weekend long. Get back into their house, polish the silver. And we just love not making minimum wage or getting the Social Security. That is Octavia Spencer in her Academy Award-winning role as segregation-era Southern maid Minnie Jackson in the hit 2011 film, The Help. Spencer since has been nominated twice more in the category of Best Supporting Actress for Hidden Figures and The Shape of Water, tying her with Viola Davis for the most Oscar nominations by an African-American actress in history. Spencer's own history began as the sixth of seven children growing up in Montgomery, Alabama, where her mother, a maid herself, gave Octavia the confidence to dream about a place as far from their lives as Hollywood. Octavia and I got together here in New York last week for a Sunday sit down, and we said hello with her preferred greeting in this age of social distancing, the Wakanda X from Black Panther. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am, but you got to. An unforgettable scene in the movie that made Octavia Spencer a star. That infamous pie was baked by Minnie Jackson. I just wanted to see her take a bite. One of the mistreated 1960s era Mississippi maids in The Help. Y'all two brought me into this, but I'm gonna finish it. When those nominations came in, it was very humbling and very gratifying. Spencer's performance earned her an Academy Award and a moment she dreamed about growing up in Alabama. I remember watching as uh, the Oscars when I was a, a little girl, everybody was all beautiful and sparkly and got prizes. And I thought, well, I don't know what it is they do, but I want to do that <laughs> because they get to be shiny. Every actor practices their Oscar speech in America. Don't, don't let them. Is that true? Yeah. Because they deny it. They deny it. I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> You know, I remember, you know, talking into my hairbrush um, <laughs> when I was a, a teenager. But I, those were expectations that I never really allowed myself to have because I didn't want the disappointment. Those teenage dreams were overshadowed by tragedy at home. Spencer lost her father when she was 13. Then her mother and hero four years later. What was it like at the age of 17 to already have lost your father mm -hmm. and now suddenly to be without your mother? It's scary because you really have to find your own voice. There is no one else to speak for you. I grew up really fast and my siblings grew up really fast. Spencer's path to Hollywood began in 1990 when she talked her way into a job on the Montgomery set of the movie The Long Walk Home. The film's star, you know Whoopi I Goldberg, took a special interest in the teenaged intern. Now, why do you think she took you under her arm? What do you think she saw in you? I told her my story and that the one thing that my mom uh, made us all promise is that we would get a college education. Mm -hmm. But I was so enamored of Whoopi that the minute that movie left town, I, I was gonna move to Hollywood to stake my claim. And she told me, you know, Hollywood will be there. Uh, get your education because you promised your mother. Oh. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, I cannot believe oh, I'm no. sorry. No, I'm so, oh, my God. I'm so touched by that, that uh, even the mention of it that moment so long ago still Yeah, it's still you, in there. It? Yeah. Yeah. Spencer followed through on that promise, earning her degree from Auburn University in 1994. The next year, she landed her first acting job a small part in the movie A Time to Kill. We won! We won! With that taste of Hollywood, she moved west, joined by her friend Tate Taylor, who since has become a prominent director and later would cast Octavia in his movie The Help. They supported each other, working gig to gig. We would borrow the same 500 bucks, you know, if, if he booked a job, hey, can you, can I borrow 500 bucks? I need to pay my rent. And then I'd book a job and he's like, hey, I need that 500 bucks back. Uh, but it was so great because we also would have potlucks because everybody was broke. Melissa McCarthy, Alice and Janney, I, I, we have a very tight knit group and we're still very close to this day. I think I'm gonna miss you most of all, Scarecrow. <laughs> I've talked to so many actors who are told that they're an overnight success, mm -hmm. and they go, oh, overnight <laughs> to you, 
15, 15 years. years for 15 year <laughs> overnight success. Definitely, I, I, I check that box. After her okay. overnight success in The Help, Spencer focused on independent more. films like Fruitvale Station. I didn't know they were going to hurt my baby. Before earning a second Oscar nomination for her role as NASA mathematician Dorothy Vaughn. There are quite a few women working in the space program. In the 2016 movie, Hidden Figures. The help was historical fiction. I thought also, you know, these about these three black women who helped in the space race. I was like, oh, it's historical fiction because surely we would know this story. Right. I knew that we, we needed to, to write that wrong. Now, Octavia is playing another historical figure in the Netflix series Self Made. If I can help one person, I'm lifting us all up. The story of Madam C.J. Walker, who in the early 20th century became America's first female self-made millionaire with a line of cosmetics and hair products. My mother used uh, Madam C.J. as uh, the standard bearer in our household. She used her as a, an example of what we could achieve, especially since she predated us mm -hmm. uh, and at the turn of the century, she was able to achieve uh, insurmountable odds. But Spencer nearly walked away from the series before it began, until fellow executive producer LeBron James stepped in to make sure she received pay equal to her male co-stars. The studio didn't want to give me certain things that I felt that I needed. And LeBron uh, intervened on my behalf. If you don't see my potential as a producer, as an actor, that I'm an equal partner, and I'm prepared to say thank you for thinking of me. And I've had to do that several times. Mm. And I think if more women understood their worth and value, they would understand how powerful their voices are when they say no. You and me, we gotta work harder be smarter and get rich. I think my mother, uh, by introducing us to Madam C.J. Walker, she made us realize that there were no limits on who we could dream to be and who I could become. Think how proud she'd be of you. Can you imagine? She, you know, I, I just imagine her up there working on my behalf. You know, my daughter's down there. She's trying to be an actor. I don't even know what that is, but <laughs> I, I feel like she's that little angel on my shoulder bossing people around in heaven. And then the Lord shows her a picture of you holding an Oscar. So she did okay. She did okay. She did okay. <laughs> Octavia's new series, Self Made, is streaming now on Netflix. It's a really good watch if you're home for a while, and we all are. Our big thanks to the Whitby Hotel here in New York for hosting our conversation. To hear Octavia talk about playing the title character in last year's horror hit, Ma, and becoming a long-running internet meme afterward, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit-Down Podcast to hear the full-length interview with Octavia Spencer. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours.